for coming to our show today. We know you have lots to do, and it's so nice that you've taken a few moments out of your busy schedule to join us. My guest today is David Daggett of Daggett Schuler Attorneys at Law. So David, how are you doing? Hey, Cindy. How are you doing today? Good to talk to you. I'm doing well. Good, good. A little rainy up here, but it's, <laughs> it's okay. All good. Yeah. Well, David, today we're going to talk about workers' compensation. You, you know a lot about this, and your firm handles a lot of these cases. Yes. Um, so, so let's start off and talk about someone's injured at work. Should they call an attorney right away? Should they let the company deal with their insurance uh, policy? What do you recommend on that? How can an attorney get involved? And at what point should an attorney get involved? Okay, so first, workers' compensation covers any accident that occurs at work uh, with any employer that has three or more employees they are required to have workers' compensation coverage for their workers. And I always like to talk a little bit about the history of workers' compensation. You know, in the old days, you know, kind of the society belief that was that workers were an interchangeable part, and if you broke a worker, you just threw them on the scrap heap and yeah. pulled in a new worker and went ahead. Uh, with with our more modern, uh, with the industrial revolution, as we became more modern, we realized that that workers are humans and they're very, very important. And that's how we came up with the workers' compensation system, as a system for compensating injured workers who are hurt on the job as a result of an accident. Now, the important thing to remember with workers' compensation is you have to be hurt as a result of an accident. Okay. So just, just having a malady by getting old that's not an accident. An accident is a trip, a fall, uh, getting hit, something like that. That's what an accident is. The, the exceptions are for a hernia, a back injury, and there's a couple other real small exceptions that you don't have to have an accident, but you do have to have what's called a specific traumatic event. Okay. Meaning you bend over to pick something up and you feel a pop, so okay. or, or something like that. Yeah. So so and and there there's some exceptions and you know the the books f would fill the room if we went yeah, into I bet. To, to all the law. Yeah. But the important thing is is workers' compensation is for when you get hurt at work. Now um, the the when you get hurt at work, you're required to to fill out a form and submit that to the Industrial Commission, and your employer is required to fill out a form and submit it to the Industrial Commission, okay? That's a requirement, and, you know, technically you're supposed to do that as soon as possible, although there is a statute of limitations that's, uh, that's usually about two years. But you, but you want to get that filled out, sent into the Industrial Commission. That's what starts your claim. Okay. Where you really, and it doesn't hurt to consult uh, with an attorney um, at the beginning, but okay. where you really need an attorney is if you're out of work for an extended period of time, uh, you have a traumatic injury that requires surgery or some other type of ongoing medical treatment, yeah. but particularly in a situation where you have an injury that affects your ongoing earning capacity into the future. Either you'll have to be retrained or you simply can't go back to that type of work, which probably means you can't return to making the same level of wage. Okay. If that's the circumstance, there's no question. You need to consult with an attorney and see if you need outside help. Uh, to help you look after your situation. Okay. So tell us a little bit about the process and what to expect from that process. So, so remember, a, a lot of people are, are, can be a little hesitant to file yeah. a workers' compensation claim because a lot of people like their employer. Yeah. They like their boss. Uh, what you have to remember 
is that the claim is usually dealing with your employer's insurance company, not your employer, okay? And in workers' compensation, it's far more direct. It's straight with your employer's insurance company. And, you know, just like when you're in an auto accident, the person that hits you might be a nice person, but the insurance company is looking out for themselves. They're not right. looking out for you. Yeah. In workers' compensation, the workers' compensation insurance company, they're looking out for themselves. They're not looking out for you. Yeah. And that's why you need to consult an attorney is to make sure you're being looked after. And it's, it's very important because in workers' compensation, you're talking about your ongoing income. That doesn't just affect you. That affects your family, your, your kids, your kids' education, your entire livelihood. Right. So, so workers' compensation is extremely important. Um, the way workers' compensation works is basically uh, what happens is you get paid two-thirds your average weekly wage up to the statutory maximum for the time period that you're out for what's called total disability. Uh, and then you're also entitled to compensation for any permanent disability that you have beyond that point in time. So uh, many times uh, a permanent disability is, is presented in the form of a disability rating. And so if you have a 10% disability to your arm, that goes into a formula and that's how you get paid. However, it's more complicated than that because if you have a 10% disability to your arm, but you can't go back to being a carpenter or, or whatever the case may yeah. be, your damages may be more significant than that. And that's why you need to have an attorney involved. It sounds very subject. complicated. It's very complicated. Very complicated. It's complicated and it's very tricky. Yeah. Uh, the laws are tricky. A couple years back, they, they changed the laws to make it more difficult for injured workers. And there's some traps out there for people that aren't used to doing it or for lawyers who don't do this on a regular basis and do it all the time. Yeah. There's traps out there and, uh, and, and th those can be devastating for, yeah. an, for an injured worker who's depending on their income uh, for themselves and their family. So the, the, the complicated nature, the tricky nature, some of the, you know, very complicated medical situations we see. For example, um, uh, injured workers, uh, particularly with back injuries, there's a lot of bad back injuries for, for injured workers. We deal with a lot of cases where the worker has a spine stimulator and, you know, medical issues that are extremely complicated. And uh, the lawyers in our firm, uh, they are very adept at looking at these medical records, dealing with the medical providers, dealing with the doctor's office to make sure that we weave through that medical system to get you the best possible result that we can and to make sure that your interests are looked after going into the future. Yeah. Well, from what you're saying, and as complicated a process as it seems to be, it, it kind of sounds to me like it would just be prudent to check with an attorney, um, regardless of whether or not you have trouble, just to get a little advice, because these kinds of things you're talking about, the average person is not going to know how to navigate that. No, that's that's correct. Um, the, the, the other thing is that... Um, people don't understand that there is a whole court system dedicated to the workers' compensation system. That's through the North Carolina Industrial Commission. And that's, that's, a, that's a court process, just like any other court process. Yeah. And, you know, once you get involved in that, you know, you can get over your head uh, very, very quickly. So it's, it's very important. Uh, yeah. to, to get advice there. The, the other thing that's interesting, and a lot of people uh, uh, ask questions about this, is how do lawyers get paid? In workers' compensation, we get paid on a percentage. 
which means we don't get paid unless you know we recover and win. The other thing is, and this is a little bit unique that we do, is we take a lot of claims for seriously injured uh, people, but we don't we don't take a fee or charge a fee for the ongoing benefits. We only base our fee on the settlement at the end. Okay. So so uh, the 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 benefits, the two thirds of the average weekly wage that we discussed earlier, you need that for your family. Yes. And and we don't. Our firm's a little bit unique in that we don't charge a fee, okay. uh, even though we're monitoring and helping and making sure uh, that those checks come on a regular basis, um, because you need that for the ongoing support of your family. Does, do most personal injury lawyers take a fee off that weekly benefit? Uh, some do. I, some I, do. I don't want to. Okay. I don't want to say most. Yes. But 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 some. Well, that's do. definitely an advantage that you don't. So well, the advantage is is many times claims don't get denied at the beginning, the fight comes later on. Okay. And get, getting us involved early doesn't cost you anything. I see. But we're fully involved, up to speed, monitoring, making sure your benefits are accurate. Right. And we're fully prepared for when that fight with the insurance company comes yeah. later down the line. Yeah. Does, it, does that make sense? It does make sense. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it definitely does. I think. Yeah. So, I think. It, so, it, it, uh, quite frankly, that that provides a a very very uh, valuable service, and we we yes. have a terrific uh, workers' compensation team. Uh, Griff Schuler leads that team, and yes. they all that they, they, they do a terrific job. I think, as you know, uh, we survey all of our clients at the end of our our. Uh, uh, cases yes and our workers compensation department just is off the charts oh uniformly yeah. excellent excellent yeah. comments yeah and, and they are they're off the charts the, yeah. the support That's staff true. the paralegals everybody involved in that department because yeah. they know what that means yeah. for those injured workers in their families and just how important that is right. and we take we, we take that personally yeah yeah so it's it's kind of it's kind of fun. Uh, you, you know me, I can't stay seated very long, and I, right. <laughs> I have to get up and walk around. And uh, and when I go through our our lobby, uh, it's interesting. We have a lot of former workers' compensation clients who we've just developed such good relationships with that they stop by just to see us. Uh, sometimes to bring us, you know, tomatoes out of their garden or, <laughs> awesome. or, or a homemade cake. And it's just, it's, those relationships are very, very Oh, close. yes, that's fantastic. Well, David, let me ask you something else because uh, sometimes, and I've heard this in my circle of friends, uh, someone who was injured on a job down the road a little bit, all of a sudden they get fired. What, yeah. what do you do in that situation? Is there any... Remedies, a way to combat that? Well, there isn't. Well, there is. So um, under the statute, you can't get fired because of your workers' compensation claim or because you file workers' compensation. And if it's retaliatory in any way, obviously we can jump in yeah. and there can be damages for that retaliation. But many times what happens is people lose their job during a worker's compensation claim simply because uh, the employer can't hold the job open yeah. for that long or because the injured employee simply isn't going to be able to be capable of doing that job in the future. That's why it is so important to have somebody involved who yeah. knows what they're doing, right. who's on your side, yes. can look after your rights yes. and make sure you and your family are taken care of in those situations. So uh, I'm sorry I couldn't give you a straight yes or no answer to your question, but it's a little bit more complicated yeah. than yeah. that. And, and we deal with it all the time, and that's right. part of our job is to handle those issues in yeah and to look after those people that are in that situation. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, you know, we should really do a follow-up on this because this there's a lot here. Yes, yeah, oh, yes. We, yeah, we don't want to go too long. But yeah, when you've been injured at work and it cuts off your income earning potential or your livelihood, 
I mean, that's as serious as anything oh, any of us yes, ever deal with. That's right. And and you need to make sure you're properly protected. Yeah, yeah. So we have a lot of information on our website, uh, DaggettShulerLaw.com. Folks can call us at 336-724-1234. Uh, we do give a lot of free advice. We're happy to do that. If, if it's a situation where you don't need a lawyer involved, we will tell you. Uh, but if you do, we're here and we're ready to go. Yeah, I know you are. Uh, <laughs> listen, fa fantastic stuff, and, and thanks for all you do, David. Yep, yep. Good talking with you, Cindy. Thank you so much. Okay. All right. To those of you watching live or by replay, feel free to leave your comments right on this page. You can also call. David gave you a number, a uh, website address, and we want you to get the information that you need. Thanks so much, everybody. Bye.